know, to me, soccer's everything. I, I love it. I don't know where I would be in life without it. It's, it's, you know, something I think about before I go to bed. Something I think about when I wake up. Um, I don't know. The only, th- you know, the only way I could describe it is I, I love soccer. I eat, sleep, and dream soccer, and I couldn't see it any other way. Well, from a young age, my parents had me play soccer. Both my brothers played before me. And uh, it was just, you know, something you did as a little kid. And in the neighborhood I was in, there was a lot of uh, kids my age that played soccer. So it was just a fun way to get involved with the community and with your friends that you knew. And uh, just a way of me to follow, basically, in my brother's footsteps. I guess um, growing up, maybe watching um, the um, Olympics and like, the World Cup, I always watched like, the American national team. And I always thought, like, maybe what it would be like to be them one day and try hard and maybe play, like, be a good soccer player when I grow up because we were living in California and the weather was really nice and I did baseball in the spring and summer and they said we, we want you to do something in the fall so they got me into soccer. My favorite position would probably be center mid. I played I played soccer from like you know mini munchkin soccer to uh, to like sixth grade or something like that and uh, in fifth grade I was on a team with me and uh, Andrew Fryer who uh, always played rec with me and then in after sixth grade he decided to try out for travel and uh, I didn't really want to try out for travel but in fifth grade we uh, were on a team we were on the red team and uh, all our friends were on that team and I was center mid and he was the striker and uh, we had a great season we, I mean we would win games five nothing and it was, it was just a lot of fun to play that position. Believe it or not the position I played I was an attack because uh, well at the time, I was actually skinny and I was actually fast. <laughs> so they said, play attack, be a striker, and I was not too bad at it. My favorite professional player, well, uh, the, the, the team I get to watch the most because they're on TV the most is Barcelona, and they have uh, Lionel Messi on their team. And uh, he's just, I mean, talk about an athlete. He, I mean, in skill, he just he just controls the game the whole time and knows exactly you know what's going on at all times and knows you know exactly what he wants to do and how he wants to do it and most of the time it works out and he's just unbelievable and can score can pass I mean he's just a really great player and he's fun to watch I played soccer for about two years competitively um, and then I moved but still for the past I don't know, nine or ten years, I still play pickup with all my friends at, uh, you know, at the local parks and stuff. I still have fun with it. There's just five teams that, you know, have great history. I mean, you talk about Real Madrid and Barcelona and Chelsea and Man U and Baron Lu- Levin Klusen and Bayern Munich. I mean, those are all the great teams. I'd, I'd probably want to play in the Barclays Premier League. I'd probably want to play for men. Man U, just because of the great history they have and what a great league that is, and to be on that team with that, with the talent that's on that team, it would just be a lot of fun, and you know, it, it just be so much fun to play with that type of talent and try to win games in that tough league. To conclude, soccer is a big part not only in my life but in millions of others. I believe I speak for every soccer player out there when I say that soccer is not only one of America's greatest pastimes, but it's also recognized as one of the greatest games ever created.